so we're in the car and um, we're just about to go down to the uh, mill um, my father's village has its own mill and we've just sent some olives down I'm gonna go and watch them pressed cooked and then made into oil Come on, what's that noise? just up here on the left with the red awning oh. 
This machine grates the olives. Do you notice there's a series of springs start off very close together and then get wider and wider apart and the idea is is that um, you put the olives on at that end and you start the motor which turns here pulls the olives down and obviously the very small ones will fall in very early into the bins and the larger ones travel down further and that way you can actually grade your olives um, pick the larger ones for eating and uh, the smaller ones can go for uh, broil. might be quite noisy but I'm going to try and show you the, uh, the whole process. Now this isn't our lot, ours have already been put in but this is how it works. I'm going to show you from the, uh, uh, the olives going into this hopper, the olive oil at the end. Let's see. Okay. will go on you'll see the, um, the olives get picked up out the bottom of the hopper and get on the conveyor. The conveyor takes them up where they're washed and any leaves, twigs get separated. Then, as they come down wash, they go into this hopper, and this hopper weighs them. And you'll see the incrementing number there in green. And every now and again, it lets it open. And you see the red one increment. Now, after this part of the process, you can see them all dropping down into that hopper down there. They then come up another conveyor belt, up to that unit there. Now that unit chops everything up into very, very small pieces. Uh, and it then gets put into one of six I don't know what you call them really, they're, uh, they're almost like ovens, but not really ovens. So, yeah, look, nice Italian machine. So what happens now is, let's have a look, see if there's any in here. Oh yeah. Okay. So the chopped up olives. are turned and heated and cooked. And what this process will do will be to uh, separate all the liquids from the solids. Okay, so I've just found out that um, ours are in number 28, which is this one. Or it's job number 28, I guess. There you go. You notice the uh, previous batch 
very, very green. Um, and I believe that's a, uh, a completely different type of olive. The olives that we use are the traditional black Cypriot olives. Look at that. Beautiful. So, the, um, the olives stay in about 45 minutes in these um, little cookers, containers, furnaces or whatever. And then what happens is that um, it then comes down, the mixture comes down this pipe with a little bit of uh, water and goes into here. Now, this is effectively a big centrifuge. It spins the whole lot, it separates the uh, water, the oil and the solid matter. The solid matter comes down here, it runs along there, up that wall and I'll go outside now and show you what happens to it. Okay so and this is where it comes. I don't know if you can see, but the uh, machine is uh, operating up there. Well, there's nothing coming out of it at the moment. And this stuff is, uh, I mean, nothing gets thrown away here. This is all the solid matter. It's the uh, chopped up um, olive stones. It's uh, all of the uh, flesh that's had all of the juices squeezed out of it. And what they do with this is, 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 I mean, really, they most of the time they press it into bricks, and people use it to burn in uh, wood stoves, and it's absolutely superb for that. Now they actually use it here as well um, in the mill uh, because they use it to heat the uh, the water. And if I just uh, come around here. You can see here there's a, a pile of stuff which is uh, which is dry, and I'm not going to go in there because uh, it's really bloody wet and horrible here. But in there is a, a very large boiler that actually uses um, this debris as fuel. Let's see how the cooking's getting on. coming through here at the moment but there will be soon. So here's some coming through now. In uh, this section here, there's um, further separation, so it basically just spins it again, gets any um, residual water out, so what comes out of here, just oil. It should speed up in a minute. Here it goes, coming a bit quicker now.
while I'm at this end, uh, I just wanted to show you something else here. You can see there's a, a few EBC containers here, and there there's a uh, 2,000 litre tank. And what this is, is that um, some people have either a lot of oil, or they don't use a lot of oil. And what they do is they sell it to the mill, and the mill then send it off to uh, another company that blends olive oils from various different places and it ends up in bottles in our supermarkets. Now this is our oil coming out. Liquid gold. Oh man's happy. So um, we put in 330 kilos of olives, each one of these containers is um, 20 litres, and we're going to see how much we get. So this is what all the old boys are doing at uh, olive harvest time. And you notice these guys there, they're eating um, toast with fresh olive oil and oregano on it. Beautiful. So there's our haul. Um, each one of those large orange containers is 20 litres. And uh, the white one is uh, 4 litres. So that's a really good point. That's 104 litres from 330 kilograms of olives. That's pretty bloody good.